and has been in constant production ever since. It's the longest production run of any aircraft in the history of aviation. So good was the design by Clarence Kelly Johnson and all the rest of his Skunk Works crew that the C-130 Hercules now boasts over 2,000 having been built. Ladies and gentlemen, they are on the roll right now. Take a look as we see the C-130 Hercules. This is the Super Herc, the Air Force's newest and most advanced tactical airlift platform. Today's air, aerial demonstration is being commanded and flown by Lieutenant Colonel John Frank Kerr, along with Captain Chris Williams, Captain Mike Fanning, and Master Sergeant Rich Barda. All four of these experienced crew members have served in Afghanistan and are veterans of operations enduring freedom and Iraqi freedom. The aircraft that just took off was built by the men and women of Lockheed Corporation in 2006. The production line, Marietta, Georgia. Again, over 2,000 Hercules aircraft have been built and flown by just about every service, including the United States Coast Guard. They used just under 3,000 feet of runway to get Rody 37 off the ground about one-third of the distance required by most airliners. This is a sign to the 143rd Airlift Squadron here at Quonset. Coming from the right, here comes the Super Herc. The aircraft has a wingspan of 132 feet longer than that of the Wright Brothers' first flight back on December 17th of 1903. It's 113 feet long, stands 39 feet tall, weighs 90,000 pounds, and is capable of operating at up to 164,000 pounds. It has four Rolls-Royce engines. And the Dowdy propellers, those six-bladed propellers, the newest part of the engine propeller combination design on the Earth. The original Hercules aircraft had three-bladed propellers. Subsequent models, models through the H had four-bladed propellers. But these Dowdy propellers have six blades, enables the aircraft to fly up to speeds of 320 knots. That's over 375 miles per hour and altitudes as high as 40,000 feet. Generations of soldiers, Marines, and airmen have counted on this versatile combat aircraft to accomplish a variety of missions in austere and hostile environments. It's capable of carrying 78 combat troops. It can airdrop 42,000 pounds of supplies and equipment. Airmen today are flying several different variants of the C-130, supporting troops through air, land, and air drop operations. you see here today. Back in 1963, in October of that year, the Navy was looking at the Hercules as a possible carrier-borne aircraft. And then Lieutenant Richard Flatley was assigned the duty of flying the C-130 Hercules and landing and taking off the deck of an aircraft carrier. It was the USS Forrestal. He did it. He had 29 touch-and-go landings and 21 full-stop, non-arrested, that means no cable, non-arrested carrier landings. And for that, 
he received the Distinguished Flying Cross and retired as an Admiral in the United States Navy. In a moment, we will see this tactical landing demonstration, this short approach. Take a look as our crew member prepares to land. Watch how they get the aircraft down. They will then reverse the angle or the pitch of the blades on those Dowdy propellers to help them stop in a very, very short distance. I'm gonna turn the music down. Let's listen to this. This is a tactical approach, tactical win. And get on the brakes, reverse the pitch. This is about as noisy as this airplane. Thank you. 